Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, I've got a really interesting looking uh, Speedmaster here. Every time we get a new one, I just have to do another video about it. And this one's no different. Uh, this here is an Omega Speedmaster Moon Watch uh, coaxial moon phase, uh, which is one of my favorite complications, even though it's probably the least practical one for a man living in 2020. I think it's so aesthetically pleasing to see uh, the moon phase on the watch, uh, even though it's not really something I've really ever considered before I started getting into watches, what the moon phase is. But it's a beautiful uh, function, and it's a, the way it's laid out on the dial is beautiful, and this is one of the best examples I think I've ever seen. Uh, Omega does make uh, a lot of moon phase uh, moon watches, or moon phase Speedmasters specifically, uh, and they all look great, but this one is a particularly ambitious piece for a lot of reasons. Uh, one, this is in uh, two-tone stainless steel and yellow gold, which is very unique amongst moon watches. Uh, already puts it in a pretty... Uh, rare company as far as that line is concerned. And of course, you will notice immediately this beautiful looking uh, silver dial, what they call a sunbrushed gray. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it looks stunning and it is a lot different than a lot of other silver dials I've seen. Uh, and one thing that I think is a really uh, absolutely stunning looking detail they've included is that the ceramic bezel is actually green. I feel like it would have been very easy for them to keep with the black and white motif of the moon watch, and uh, I think it would still be a gorgeous watch if they did that. But the fact that they chose to make this a completely different color altogether does show that they want to make this a very unique model and reference number within the Speedmaster line. Uh, the moon phase in particular is absolutely stunning, and uh, got to look at it up close. It has beautiful, uh, lifelike, photorealistic detail of the moon. And not only that, you even get uh, this beautiful looking starry night in the background. Again, would have been really easy for them to just put a white disc there uh, to show you what the moon phase is, but instead they took the extra step, and that's what makes this an incredible, incredible version of the Speedmaster. Uh, moving on, this also another choice they made was to put this in this beautiful looking dark gray strap. Uh, if you go to Omega.com, this particular watch is not available in a stainless steel bracelet. I don't think it ever was, and I think that's a very important choice. Again, much like making the bezel green instead of the traditional black, they have definitely uh, made this a much more unique version of the Speedmaster and definitely added a lot more dynamism in the color. Because again, it would have been very easy to just do another two-tone or all-steel bracelet with this. Uh, the rest of the dial itself is pretty straightforward for a two-sub dial uh, chronograph. I think it is a great use of space because they were able to uh, not make it seem too crowded. Some moon phases have a fourth sub dial to make up for this extra complication, but instead Omega decided to combine the other two, which I think was a very wise choice. You have your small seconds hand and a uh, date indicator here on uh, at nine o'clock, and at three o'clock you have both your uh, one hour and 12 hour chronograph or sub dials here. Uh, so it's a beautiful use of space. You have this addition of the moon phase complication, but without crowding the dial out or even making it that hard to read. Uh, and of course, one thing that really makes uh, certain, especially coaxial Speedmasters beautiful, is this exhibition case back at the end, uh, which I think is very important. Uh, a lot of moon phase Speedmasters I've seen before come with a manual winding movement, uh, this being an automatic coaxial movement. And I think this is very important. I don't always recommend that people, especially people who collect chronographs, buy watch winders. I'm not sure if that's really necessary unless you have a particularly large collection. Uh, however, because the moon phase doesn't line up exactly with the days of the month, this is something I'm definitely going to recommend you keep constantly wound if you are not going to wear this every day. Because uh, I'll admit, the colors are a bit striking and it's probably not what you would consider for an everyday wear. Uh, but in order to do that, that would keep everything synced up because it's really easy for you for to uh, forget about it for just a couple of days. And then the next thing you know, your moon phase is all out of whack. No one really has the moon phase memory unless you're an astronomer anyway. Uh, so it's going to be very important for you to keep this thing wound, keep this thing accurate, and make sure you never have to think about setting it until you've got this beautiful watch on your wrist. This particular example we have is in mint condition. Uh, really doesn't, can't really tell that this has been on the wrist at all, especially on this strap here. Uh, and it comes with its full set of box of papers, which is absolutely beautiful. This is a very rare Speedmaster model. This is a very special Speedmaster model. Uh, it's currently not available new at Omega anymore. They currently say there's a wait list, but I imagine that wait list might be indefinite. So if you're impatient and you want to get your hands on this now, I'd recommend giving us a call or shooting us an email at Swiss Watch Expo. This literally hit the website yesterday at the time of recording. 
I'll be stunned if it makes it to this video getting posted. Uh, but of course, you might be lucky, and if you see this for sale online after this video, give us a call as soon as possible. If you haven't done this yet, uh, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We've got a ton of great content dropping every week, and we got a ton of fascinating watches getting in. If this was not your cup of tea, I'm sure our new arrivals page will have something that is, so give us a call, and don't hesitate to ask for us at SwissWatchExpo.com.